in just one or two lines can you multiply these four digit numbers that is you have to multiply this huge number with this huge number directly and write the answer here so can you do that let's find out feel free to pause me but do give it a try the correct answer is this that is this huge number so did you get it well if you got it then hats off to you your number crunching skills are simply brilliant if you did not get it then just learn this trick and I assure you that you'll be on your way to becoming a human calculator so let's first see the usual way of multiplying these numbers so as you must have imagined by now that it will be really long so please be a little patient Okay, 4 2 times is 8, 4 3 times is 12, 1 is carried forward, 4 4 times is 16 and 16 plus 1 is 17, 1 is still carried forward, 4 5 times is 20 and 20 plus that 1 is 21. Now leave a blank space here and start multiplying with this 2. 2 2 times is 4, 2 3 times is 6, 2 4 times is 8 and 2 5 times is 10 now leave two blank spaces here and multiply with this next digit 1 2 times is 2 1 3 times is 3 similarly 1 4 times is 4 and this would be 5 now you have to leave three blank spaces and start multiplying with this 3 so 3 2 times is 6 3 3 times is 9 3 4 times is 12, 1 is carried forward and 3 5 times is 15 and 15 plus that 1 is 16. We have almost run out of space. See this is the problem with this method. It is very long. Anyhow, so add these numbers in the columns. So this would be 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 7 plus 6 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15, 1 is carried forward, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 plus 6 is 19, 1 is still carried forward, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 9 is 16, carry forward 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, this would be 7, and then 9, this would be 6, this would be 1, and finally we have the answer. One of the problems with this method, as you can see, is that, that it is very long, see, it has managed to fill this entire space. No room is left now. But this problem is nothing as compared to the other problem that this method has. The bigger problem with this method is that, that it only gives us the answer from right to left. That is, it gives you the least significant digit first and the most significant digit last. Now the problem with that is that, that you have to wait right till the end before you can even start saying the answer. See, you have to do this step and this step and this step and then this step and then add all the numbers and only then right at the end you can start saying the answer that the answer is 1, 6, 9, blah, 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 blah. So any method that can give us the answer from left to right, that is the most significant digits first, like this, it will immediately skyrocket our calculation speed. So today is your lucky day for I'm going to teach you that method. Not only you will be saying the answer from left to right instantly, as soon as the question would be given to you, you'll be starting to say the answer. And what's more, you'll be getting it directly. That means that you're not even required to put any of these steps. You'll get the answer in just one or two lines. How good is that? Let's check it out. Here is your fast way. 3 5 times is 15. This is 12 plus 5 is 17. This is 9 plus 10 is 19 plus 4 is 23. This is 6 plus 20, that is 26. This is 3, this is 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. Now 26 plus 11 is 27, 37. You see, already I have half of the answer digits with me. If you ask me what the answer is, I can start saying. It will be 1, 6, 9, 6, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's find the other half as well. This is 2 plus 16 is 18 plus 6. 18 plus 6 is 24. Now this is 4 plus 
12. 4 plus 12 is 16. And finally, 4 2 times is 8. So, the final answer is 16969568. That's it. Question solved. Should I put down the answer for you? Okay. So the answer is 16969568. See, we directly multiplied a 4 date number with another 4 date number and got this huge answer in no time. So now tell me honestly, did you like this trick? Well, if you did, then I would explain it to you what I have just done. Then you can also do the same and impress anybody. People will think that you're a genius, you're a math wizard, you're a human calculator. Right, so let's check it out. Even this technique has been taken from that same 3000 year old book called Vedas. And the original Sanskrit name of this technique is Ur Dhwa Teer Yag Bhayam I'll put it in English as well. These dashes at the top of the vowels mean that you have to extend the sound of the vowel. So therefore, you'll read it as Urdhva Tiryag Bhyam. There's a very important reason behind my telling you the original Sanskrit name of this amazing technique. You'll be really surprised to know that this is not just a name. But these Sanskrit words contain the vital information on how to use this method. That is, by knowing just the meaning of its name, you can master this method. I'll show you how. The Sanskrit word Urdhva means upwards, like this. And Tiryag means sideways, like that. And this is exactly the pattern in which we have to multiply these digits. That is, in a cross or vertical manner. So all we have to do is separate these numbers into pairs. Like we take this pair. Now as you can see that here cross multiplication is not possible. So we do the vertical multiplication, that is multiply 3 with this 5, 3 5 times is 15. So whatever you get, just write it here, as simple as that. Similarly, take the next two pairs of number, like that. Now here cross is possible, so do the cross, that is multiply 3 with this 4 and 5 with this 1 and add the two products. So 3 4 times is 12 and 5 1 times is 5. And 12 plus 5 is 17. So I carry forward 1 and write 7 here. Just remember that cross multiplication is always preferred over vertical multiplication. That is, only if the cross multiplication is not possible, then only we do the vertical multiplication. For example, here we will not multiply like this. This would be wrong. Why? Because here the cross multiplication is possible. We will multiply in the cross manner. So in the same manner, now take the next three pairs of the numbers. So once again, we'll do the cross between this and this. And as you can see with 4 and 1, you can only do vertical multiplication. So we'll do that as cross is not possible. So now find the product of all these numbers and add them. 3, 3 times is 9 and 5, 2 times is 10. 9 plus 10 is 19. And add to that the product of 4 and 1. 4, 1 times is 4. So 19 plus 4 is 23. There you go. So now I'm sure you must have understood the pattern. Now we are going to take the first four pairs. And once again do the same thing. Since here cross is possible, so we'll do the cross. As cross is always preferred over the vertical multiplication. Here also cross is possible, so we can again do the cross. So now quickly find the product of all these numbers and add them. 3, 2 times is 6. 5, 4 times is 20. 20 plus 6 is 26. Okay, hold 26 in your mind. 1, 3 times is 3. And 4, 2 times is 8. Now, 8 plus 3 is 11. Okay, now add that 11 to 26, which I asked you to hold in your mind. 
So 26 plus 11 would be 27, 37. Now, as you can see that we have reached the top of the hill. See, this multiplication is like riding a bicycle over a hill. That is, you paddle your way all the way to the top of the hill to reach the highest point. Isn't it? We started with the first pair and then took the first two pairs, then took the first three pairs and then took the first four pairs. This was like the highest point. We can't go beyond that. From here, it's a downhill task. That is, it is easier. Why? Because now you take the last three pairs. Okay. You're going downhill. Then the last two pairs. Then the last pair and you're done. Now, since we have already reached the highest point, we have taken the first four pairs. So now time to go downhill. Enjoy the ride. This is much more easy. So do the cross with this and this. And here, you can't do the cross, so do the vertical. 4, 4 times is 16. 2, 1 times is 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. Hold 18 in your mind. 3, 2 times is 6. 18 plus 6 is 24. Now take the last two pairs. 2, 2 times is 4. 3, 4 times is 12. 4 plus 12 is 16. Now the last pair. So 4, 2 times is 8. And we are done. Now you can just say the answer. The answer would be 1, 6, 9, 6, 9, 5, 6, 8. I'll put it down if you want. The beauty of this method is that, that you can take any number of digits. Like we multiplied a 4-digit number with a 4-digit number directly. But had been, let's say, a 9-digit number with a 9-digit number, then also you would have done the same thing. See, we would have gradually gone up the hill and then you would have come down the hill. Same pattern. So that means the same technique can be used for almost any situation of multiplication. Take these dots as the digits. So take the first pair. And since the cross multiplication is not possible, so do the vertical multiplication. Then take the next two pairs. And since the cross is possible, so do the cross multiplication. Then take the next three pairs. So, cross is possible between the extreme digits and only vertical is possible between the mid digits. So, do it like that and similarly take the first four pairs, then move downhill. That is last three pairs, last two pairs and the last pair and you are done. So, as you can see, it is following such a smooth pattern. You just have to follow that. Go up the hill and then down the hill.